The Day of the Dead is a pre-Hispanic celebration honoring the ancestors during November 2nd, coinciding with the Catholic celebration of the Day of the Dead. Although seen primarily as a Mexican holiday, it is also celebrated in many communities in the United States where there is a large Mexican-American population, and to a lesser extent it is also celebrated in some parts of Latin America. Despite being a morbid subject, this holiday is celebrated cheerfully, and although it happens on dates close to All Saints Day, and to All Souls Day, instead of feeling fearful of malevolent spirits, humor on the Day of the Dead is much more relaxed, similar to Halloween, with a greater emphasis on celebration, but honoring the lives of the departed. The origins of the Day of the Dead in Mexico can be traced back to the time of the Mesoamerican Indians, such as the Aztecs, Mayas, Purepechas, Nahuas, and Totonacas. The rituals that celebrate the lives of the ancestors were performed by these civilizations for at least the last 3,000 years. In the pre-Hispanic era, it was common practice to preserve the skulls as trophies and display them during the rituals that symbolized death and rebirth. The festival that became the modern Day of the Dead fell into the ninth month of the Aztec calendar in early August and was celebrated for a whole month. The festivities were dedicated to the goddess known as the Lady of the Dead, the true goddess and queen of Mixtecasawatl, the underworld, who rules the life after death with Mitlantecutli, another deity who is her husband. Their role is to watch over the bones of the dead and to preside over the ancient feasts of the dead. These festivals evolved from the Aztec traditions to the modern Day of the Dead after the synthesis with the Spanish traditions. He presides over the contemporary festival as well. She is known as the Lady of the Dead as she is believed to have been born, then sacrificed as a baby. Mixtecasawatl was depicted with a fleshless body and a gape jaw to swallow the stars during the day. The festivities were dedicated to the celebration of children and the lives of deceased relatives, in Aztec mythology, Mixtecasawatl is the queen of Mitlan, the region of the dead. Together with her king, she welcomes all those who die from natural causes. But before reaching it, the dead, whether noble or plebeian or rich, must go through a long and painful journey down the way of the dead. Once you finish your journey you will meet the kings of Mitlan who will allow you to enjoy eternal rest. Mitekasawatl is usually represented as a fleshy goddess with a skull head, with breasts exposed and numerous folds in her abdomen representing her multiple births. In some representations, the Queen of Death appears with the jaw open giving life to a warrior that comes out of his insides and through his neck. In itself, it symbolizes the beginning and end of life. In the Acutuality in Mexico, the Day of the Dead is celebrated on October 31st, November 1st, and 2. In fact, the festivities begin on October 28th, which is when you remember people who died in an accident, on October 30th they are reminded of babies who died before being baptized, children under 12 are celebrated on October 31st, November 1st is All Saints Day and reminds those who died of natural causes or diseases, and on November 2nd, after 12a.m according to the beliefs, when the souls of the deceased leave, the offerings are collected and the altars are erected. It is also believed that the souls of the children return to visit on November 1st, and that the souls of the adults return on day 2. When the Spanish conquerors arrived in America in the 15th century, they were terrified by the pagan practices of the natives, and in an attempt to convert the Native Americans to Catholicism they moved the festival towards dates in early November to coincide with the Catholic festivities of All Saints Day and All Souls. All Saints Day is a day after Halloween, where the latter was also a pagan ritual of Samhain, the Celtic day of the Feast of the Dead. The Spanish combined the customs of Halloween with the similar Mesoamerican festival, thus creating Day of the Dead. Near to this celebration is the All Saints Day, all Saints Day, a religious festival celebrated in many countries of Christian tradition. In countries of Catholic tradition, it is celebrated on November 1st, while in the Orthodox Church it is celebrated the first Sunday after Pentecost. In it are venerated all the saints who do not have a party of their own in the ecclesial calendar. By tradition is a non-working holiday. There are versions that indicate that this date was established as a response to the pagan celebration of October 31st. 
but these versions are not very solid because the celebration of Halloween is a holiday from the United States. In Spain, within the Catholic tradition a visit is made where loved ones lie. In Catalonia the so-called Castaneda is celebrated in which sweet potatoes, chestnuts, and panelettes are eaten. In Mexico, offerings are made to entertain the deceased and celebrate those two days, which are removed on day two at night, being able to consume at that time. This is how Day of the Death is celebrated in Latin America. In Mexico, the most important moment on this day is when people go to the cemetery during the night and adorn the tombs, usually with an orange flower called Zempasichital. In the houses, an altar is built in memory of the ancestors, where photographs of them, food and drinks are arranged so that the deceased can remember the flavors of his past life. Among some of the elements of folklore used only at this time of year, we highlight the bread of death, skulls made of sugar or small skulls, which are given away to friends. In Guatemala, in this country, there is a belief that blessed souls leave the cemeteries and appear in some places. For this reason, many people, like in Mexico, put water and a photograph of the deceased in the homemade altars. Days before the celebration, they clean the tombs and decorate them with the flower of the dead, of yellow color, that only flowers at this time. In Peru, as in Mexico and Guatemala, altars are also dedicated to the deceased. Offerings of candles and flowers are made in the cemetery and, once the food and drink is prayed for the deceased, the family members enjoy a banquet in their honor. The most emotional moment is in the cemetery, where those close to the deceased visit his tomb and leave flowers to honor him. In Venezuela, there are no major celebrations. Relatives take advantage of this day to visit the cemetery, clean the graves and bring flowers. In El Salvador. In this country, the Day of the Dead is celebrated on November 2nd and, rather than remembering their ancestors, take advantage of this day to celebrate the lives of those who are still alive. In Nicaraguan, on this country they attach great importance to this date and go further, celebrating this day in the cemetery during the night. They spend one night sleeping with their dead, sitting next to the pantheons. In Ecuador, Ecuadorian families celebrate this day by gathering around a typically traditional meal, bread what was, bread figures shaped like children, and purple dressing, a drink made with black corn flour, fruits such as blackberry, pineapple, and, and blueberries. In Honduras, Colombia, and Costa Rica in these three countries, believers go to cemeteries to bring offerings as a symbol of gratitude to the favors performed by the saints to their families. Therefore, they fill the cemeteries with crowns and palms during November 1st to decorate the tombs and pay homage to the deceased. The rich visuals and incredible culture behind the two-day event have seen it grow around the world, although it is a Mesoamerican holiday, it's a holiday one can personalize and integrate into their own religious and cultural beliefs. It is more of a cultural holiday than a religious one. It is a wonderful way to celebrate the memories of our loved ones who are now gone. Through art, cooking, music, building ofrendas, doing activities with our children, we can recount family stories, fun times and lessons learned. Not how the person died, but how they lived.